Yo, what's going on guys? Aaron right, here, back with your the Breakers video. I just realized I'm really stupid, and I need to stop assuming that I'm not. Um, so the video that went up earlier today was actually this video, the update video, and I never uploaded the video of me actually talking about crossplay. So essentially what this video has become is that this is the second part of the update video that was supposed to be attached to the first part of the update video, which was the crossplay video that went up earlier today. And I guess I, I, I messed up, dude, I messed up. So essentially what I'm doing for this video is that I'm including that second part of the update content, which is talking about all the shop stuff, which is talking about um, pretty much everything that's coming at launch, all the sales and whatnot for uh, season five. And then I'm just going to include the part where I talked about crossplay coming just because I feel like that's still relevant. So uh, that crossplay video is, is it's, it's stupid. I'm, I'm stupid. So I'm actually going to be talking about crossplay at the second half of this video. And the first part of this is like the update. So just in case you guys are confused, I'm really stupid. I apologize, but will not be as stupid when season five launches and I'll actually watch footage back. Enjoy. Haha. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Iron, you big dummy. There's more, dude. There's actually more that they just dropped at 1 a.m. for some reason. Love you, Breakers. Thanks, dude. Nobody wants to sleep. <laughs> Alrighty, so literally as I uh, concluded that previous video, they dropped more information. Basically, everything coming to the shop. So here we have the official art for Poir uh, and Mai, which is dope. And also, you guys told me that Poir is not a chick and Poir is a dude. I always thought they were a uh, chick. But um, they're, they're a dude. That, that, that's sick. Um, get a great price on the set of two survivor skins. Um, season 5. There'll probably be a sale to get two of them together. Uh, Raider level 20 Zamasu and Goku Black. You can get the new Raider from Season 5. Zamasu and Goku Black at level 20. This is a great way to get it like, up once the new season starts. So basically, I imagine you can buy this Raider and just get them at level 20. And it seems like you're going to be able to do that uh, with all of the Raiders. Uh, Broly, Ginyu... Uh, and Vegeta. So not the base Raiders, of course, obviously you're going to get them. So for people saying it's pay to win, I think they would have did it for all of the Raiders, even the OG ones, if they wanted to be pay to win. But essentially, uh, 20 levels just literally gives you like two seconds off of an active skill or like uh, one less Civ you got to kill to a ball, right? So it's normally nothing crazy level 20. So I really worry about uh, pay to win and whatnot. So this is big. And I'm actually going to have to edit another video because uh, this is a crossplay commemorative survivor skin set. So crossplay celebration, get a bargain price set of survivors that were added to the shop during season two through four. Um, this is great. This is actually really great if you're a uh, collectionist, you want to get all the survivor skins. In my opinion, the survivor skins that you really need to worry about that are actually good and worth getting are Chi Chi and Dende. Uh, honestly, the rest of these guys you could do without. <laughs> Legitimately, the rest of these guys you could do without. Um, Yajirobe has some interesting passives, nothing crazy. Uh, King Kai has you know, a fun, has two fun active skills. Boma literally adds nothing, it's just a skin straight up. Chilai is cool, skills kind of suck. Um, Lemo is cool, skills kind of suck. So, only ones I would say that you would, should go out of your way to buy if you are a new player coming in is Dende and Chi Chi, in my opinion. Our Breakers Special Set Volume 5. This will allow you to get the Android 18 keychain. Uh, I think it's Togama's thingy. I mean, we'll, we'll go through it as we talk about it. But a special set of items that all players get the most out of Season 5 is here. There's a ton of great items in the set, including the newly added Goku Black's Black Gi, costume along with an Android 18 keychain, vehicle skin cube, and more. You'll save a lot of money uh, getting them in this set uh, than individually. Honestly, I might actually get this set. Uh, I skip, I typically skip these, but this is actually what I'll probably get, because there's a lot of stuff I actually want in here. So this is the Goku Black Gi set, um, a set consisting of Goku Black's Gi costume and time ring, which is dope. What a deal. They have Vegito Gi uh, costume set, the new Vegito Gi costume is available in the supportable set. Bulma's camo bikini costume set. A fresh and fashionable costume has been added. You can get it at a great price to set for tight B avatars only. Suit costume set. You can be um, in a tux. Oh, they're bringing back um, King Furry. So King Furry was actually in season two. So I guess in season six, they'll bring back Baba 
And I guess in Season 7, they'll bring back uh, Mr. Satan. So that seems to be the order in which they've been doing things. Uh, this is... Uh, oh, actually, if you're curious about King Furry, he has an active skill, which is a rocket that you call down. It's basically like a little missile strike. Um, if you are within range of the Raider, you don't have to be locked on. No, you do have to be locked on, I believe. But you don't have to, like, hit them with anything. You just call it, and it comes down and knocks the Raider off. So basically is a knockback from afar but it has a fairly long cooldown so this is the vehicle skin this looks pretty dope actually these are the stamps uh these stamps are actually pretty good these things are actually pretty good. i'm not a big stamp guy these are actually pretty good stamps we have uh jocko's pose as an emote we have gigantic roars an emote uh, we have a costume uh these are just the jacket colors different pant colors we got dress shoes uh the time ring accessory Tagoma's Scouter. I believe Tagoma is the guy that actually helped resurrect Frieza in Resurrection F. Um, interesting. And the Android 18 uh, keychain. Uh, and Goku's turn as a intro. Uh, here is the Zamasu and Goku Black Voice set. How dare you touch me, mortal? I will not allow you to act on your own any further. So this is Zamasu saying this. I've taken Godhood to a new level. Divinity uh, made perfect. Are you now nearly Are you now keenly aware of your own powerlessness? And now to finish this once and for all, well, that's a shame. I know you're uh, straining the gears of your little seedling brain trying to come up with a stratagem. This one is crazy, bro. That one is crazy disrespectful. Okay. All right, Goku Black. Finish your goodbyes. End of the line. You can't hide from me. Ha 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 ha. Astounding. Wonderful, this will help me hone my strength so much further. I can't remember every moment. I can remember every moment, every blow burning like a bright flame in my body and mind. It's heartbreaking to see a world so scarred. You're a mortal menace. You mortal menace. My final judgment is upon you now. Wow. All right, so this is Goku Black, uh, Super Saiyan Rosé. The vast beauty of my being overwhelms you. I will finish you off nice and slowly. Pause. You must pay for your sins against me and die. Only one more left. Not a bad attack, I must say. You know, that might have even bruised me. By channeling my divide range into power, I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. Damn, he is a yapper, bro. My strength surpasses my own understanding. That is a, that is a good one. No more games or half measures. Because those insolent mortals continue to defy and profane us, we will reveal to them the ultimate power of the gods. Not for fused. Worship me. Give praise unto me. <laughs> the beautiful, the sublime. All hail Zamasu. Sorry, I had to do the little voice there. What a beautiful sight it is. The end of this wretched world. You Cretans refuse to acknowledge your own limits. Uh, the lack of reverence you exhibit in trying to lay hands upon a god. It is the worst kind of sin. Blasphemous creature, despite all my decrees, you're still completely oblivious to your sacrilege against me. I've, I've had enough of your impudent mortals. Uh, of you impudent mortals, be gone. I understand, yet it's so tragic. Act of gods are beautiful because we are inherently pure. Dust to dust. Now, these, are, these, are, these are good, bro. Indeed, this mood will not last. I'm invincible. No damage can destroy me. I am, and proudly so, my tears shall sanctify this blighted world. A righteous god defeated by a mortal, it's sacrilege. It cannot be. Wow. All right, so this is page two. So let's take a look at page two. Alrighty. So these are vest colors. The vests actually look all right. They're not, they're not crazy. They look okay. Uh, we got some new uh, pants. Uh, more, uh, oh, prototype scouters. Interesting. Uh, ancient master sunglasses. Is this Rosie's master? I'm not sure actually. It's kind of cool. Oh, this is Master. Oh, this is just Roshi's. Never mind. Uh, we got some glasses. Got some hats. Okay. Got some hats. Got some leather pouches. A thumbs up emote. I did it. And that's it. Okay, guys. So that's everything coming up uh, with the update. Just want to keep you guys in the loop. Sorry, this went a little long. But I just want to keep you guys updated and prepared for everything coming to Dragon Ball The Breaker Season 5. Uh, I, I will not gonna lie, I'm probably buying all these voice lines for Zamasu. I, these these hit. These hit. And the, the skins are cool. The skins are cool. The stamp, I'm, that vehicle skin is also funny as hell. 
But uh, I actually would recommend getting this uh, special volume set. Seems like a pretty good deal, actually. Typically, they're kind of lame. Um, very curious to see the pricing on this. Could be could be pretty decent, so we'll see. Okay, guys, that's going to be the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below your thoughts on everything coming to Season 5. Uh, you know, if you're happy with the boost. If not, if you're a little, uh, you know, slighted by that, with it being kind of like lame, being only 1.5. Actually, where is that? Let me see if I can pull so you guys have like a visual... I think, uh, you know, the 20% Zenny boost is kind of whatever, but, you know, it, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. All right, guys, that's it. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Peace out, fellas. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Hey, what's up, dude? Iron um, Mistake Kane here. Again, that is the, the second part of the update video. That part is done. This is going to be the crossplay video that was supposed to be the video that went up earlier but I'm stupid, again, so I apologize for my incompetence. Enjoy me discussing if I think Crossplay is coming at launch. This is pretty much the rest of the video, but it wasn't supposed to be part of this video. I hope that makes sense. Enjoy. <laughs> What's going on, guys? They aren't getting here back for another Dribble the Breaker Season 5 video, and in today's video, we are going to talk about whether or not... Um, Crossplay is actually going to come on the launch of Season 5 or if it's going to roll out during a similar time frame like Rank did. So if you guys don't know, uh, Rank was implemented in Season 4 slash the first anniversary of Dragon Ball The Breakers, but it did not come on launch. The launch of um, Season 4 was on November 1st, and then I believe we got Ranked uh, sometime in December. If it wasn't December 10th, it was like December 11th, around that time frame. So it could be, uh, you know, up in the air whether or not Crossplay does the same thing. But let's go back to the actual live stream uh, to see the exact wording that they use to get a better idea. All right, I'm going to be up here just so you guys can see the subtitles, but I'll read them uh, as they come along. So he says, uh, Crossplay, implementation. So they say it's been a long wait, but the crossplay feature we announced during the first anniversary special live stream will be finally implemented on season five. On season five. A limitation of crossplay feature will enable you to play with users from other platforms starting on season five. So they do specify on season five. They don't say during season five. And uh, actually, let me pull up this season four live stream because I believe they don't say on season four for rank so let me go ahead and pull up that live stream actually i'll be right back Alrighty, so here is the live stream for the first anniversary slash season four and it, look at the rewarding here look at the rewarding here so let's go ahead and watch this really quick so they say the long awaited ranking system is finally scheduled to be implemented during season four so just comparing the wording that they do here give me one sec so here we have a uh, starting on season five i know you can't see it just because like it's paused and whatnot but this says on season five, starting on the implementation of crossplay feature will enable you to play with users from other platforms starting on season five, or as opposed to the rank system, they said the long awaited ranking system is finally scheduled to be implemented during season four. Notice the phrasing that they're using during for season four and on for season five. This is just very interesting. Let's go ahead and keep watching um, for uh season four here just to see if they get a little more specific so I see one. okay this is them just describing ranked special rewards let's talk about the rewards again Season 4 will only have a pre-ranked match. They are planning to adjust rewards period balance and more. And they also say we will send out further information on the ranking system before it starts. So please wait a little longer until it is implemented. Yeah, so notice that they're saying they're really like kind of nailing the whole like the nail on the head that ranked wasn't going to come at launch for season uh four as opposed to crossplay they don't really have a different type of language here 
They're They're saying that it's coming on season five, and they don't say that once, they say that twice. They say on season five, crossplay will be coming to um, Dragon Ball The Breakers. And uh, if you guys saw during the gameplay, there was different icons. And if we go ahead and look here, uh, we have uh, PlayStation icons in the top right. It looks like we have Steam icons, I think. I don't know if they're Steam icons. I don't know what they're actually supposed to be. But when we saw them play earlier, if you go ahead and see, they all have Steam icons while they're playing. So I think crossplay looks ready to go because honestly, you know what? Let me let me just check right now after the gameplay was ranked even apart when they completed the match. I don't know if they showed the medals and whatnot. But I'm very curious to see that actually. I don't know how far they go when they finish these. But if they show the medals, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think they show the medals. I don't think they show the medals. Interesting. But I feel like maybe, maybe, maybe I'm coping a little bit. Maybe I'm coping. I mean, we'll find out Thursday, but maybe I'm coping. But I feel like if rank was done and ready to go, wouldn't they want to show us an example of how it works, how ranking up and ranking down would be if it was ready then? I, I, I don't know, man. Like, I just like this, this tells me. The fact that we have the Steam icons literally in this like preview tells me that crossplay is ready to go, dude. It is ready to go. At least that's the way I view it. I right, just see what the rest of they say there. Uh, you can use this feature to play with friends and new rivals across multiple platforms. Oh, okay. I'm stupid. So users of platforms different from your own uh, are displayed with a generic icon. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if that is like something based on preference or just like if that's how it is. You can't tell if somebody's on Switch. You can't tell if somebody's on Xbox. You can't tell if somebody's on Steam. Um, they'll just have that icon by their name. So all you'll know is that they're not of your platform. I mean, that could be a good thing because I could like not, you know, yell at a Switch player that throws because I want to know they're from Switch unless they tell me or an Xbox or, or Steam or whatever, right? Or a PlayStation player, right? I mean, a PlayStation that would know actually. But um, that is very interesting. You can also change the cross base settings from the options. So users who prefer to keep playing with the same user on the, of the same platform can always make these adjustments. So it seems like cross play is optional. You're not going to be locked into cross play, but if you want to use it, the option will be there. Honestly, unless you're on PlayStation, there really is no reason not to use crossplay unless you just like sitting in the lobby and you like long queues because ah, the, the, the Switch queues and the PC queues are crazy and I can only expect like what... um. Okay, so they do say we'll post more details through our social media and other channels, so stay tuned. So I, I will say that statement isn't what you really want to be hearing, to be fair. They are saying there's an in-game friend feature implementation. This will allow us to have in-game friends because obviously people will be playing on different platforms. You can't like friend somebody from Play PlayStation on Steam. That's why they have to have an in-game system. Yeah, it's literally what I just said. <laughs> so I'm curious if they mention anything else. Now this is ranked. Since crossplay will be incorporated, it will also be possible to play across different platforms. You'll be able to uh, play against different um, players. Find conditions and other details later on their social media websites. So these are the rewards for the season. Okay, and this is the, the Raider base, this is the Raider thing. Now, the last thing they, they did is the social media campaign. Now, I feel like this is pretty good for people hoping that crossplay is going to come at launch. They say season five kickoff and crossplay celebration, three title social campaign, which is for Breakers, Legends of Dokkan, unfortunately, Xenoverse 2 got cucked here. And if we get 20,000 likes and repost, uh, we will get rewards. So let me go ahead and check out Twitter really quick. So now I am on Twitter.com. So we go over here. We'll see that this is the thing. Season 5 kickoff and crossplay celebration. Three titles social media confirm. You'll get rewards. It's the period. And they say all reposts and likes are el eligible from all of the social media accounts and whatnot. 
Okay. Yeah, I mean, we won't really know for sure uh, until Thursday. But the way that it's looking, I think crossplay, if it doesn't come out like on the 29th specifically, it is absolutely coming out in March. But uh, I just kind of want to go over that because I know it was kind of up in the air whether crossplay was going to be coming later or sooner. I'm hoping it's going to be sooner rather than later just because i feel like there's a lot of hype um and i feel like if everything works i mean as long as they have a better launch this season four i think things will be uh very successful but uh let me know in the comments below what do you guys think is going to happen do you think they're going to do a similar um thing that they did with ranked where um crossplay is going to come later down the line or do you think that crossplay is going to come at launch based on the language that they used here i'm hoping and coping that it's launched just because I think it's kind of silly that they have a whole social media campaign for crossplay. Let, let's actually see how long this campaign is actually going on for. Because maybe that also could give us an idea of when it's coming. It's still on March 11th. So, I mean, this campaign is to celebrate Season 5 and crossplay. And crossplay isn't, like, a thing during this time period. I feel like that's a little misleading. So, again, I really do think crossplay is going to come on launch. But I could very well be wrong. And, uh... Who knows, dude? You're breaking expectations is the name of the game. So we'll end up seeing uh, eventually when the Season 5 drop happens on February 29th. But again, let me know in the comments below what you guys think if it's going to drop on February 29th or if you think it's going to be later, uh, like next month, um, like it was for Ranked in Season 4. That being said, boys, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the Arcane Channel for more Drive the Breaker Season 5 updates and just Drive content in general. And I'll catch you guys on the flippy flip. Take care, stay safe, have fun. Peace out, fellas.